idiot. Show, show your wrist right now. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> we got a Bello, Miss Americana, Strom Bello, the me and Kylie Strom duo. I think that's a favorite. I said you were taking your time because you were probably collecting a ton of friendship bracelets. I was, yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to need to make a lot to return the favor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we will wrap up with Carrie Bello, our resident Swifty, on a, between you and Viv. It's a, it's it's a battle. Up, so, yeah. um, so Carrie, yeah, just to talk, we're talking a lot about the defense tonight, obviously, and, and holding Kansas City scoreless, holding Chewinga scoreless. Mm -hmm. um, just what were your overall takeaways from the game this evening? Well, first of all, I thought Corey Dyke had an unbelievable game. You know, Corey, Anna, I mean, the whole back line, and to kind of end her um, scoring streak was a big deal. But um, all like overall, I think we were really solid. I think we did well managing their transition. And I think we did it in numbers. You know, We got around the ball, got a lot of numbers around the ball. No one was kind of left defending themselves. And um, you know, we covered for each other. I think after one of the play, I said to Em, like, thanks for having my back. But we, we know that our teammates have our back. So it really gives us that confidence to um, defend with intensity and um, yeah, overall great performance from the defense. I'm really proud. But awesome. Carrie, um, talking to Corey and Seb, just with the sheer number of players behind the ball that Kansas City was putting, looking for mm -hmm. that counterattack, looking for those those moments, how kind of mindful were you of those counterattacking options when trying to go forward? And uh, do you feel like that kind of played a little bit into maybe a, a little less aggressiveness from the team? Um, yes and no. I think um, we we knew transition was their game, right? And we know Chewing is super fast um, in transition and dangerous. So we wanted to manage that. But I think it was just seeing where their numbers were and preparing early, you know. But luckily on my side, I think I was still able to get pretty high into the attack, depending on the numbers that they had. And it's it just takes a lot of communication organizing it. But we didn't want to take our foot off the gas at all. We wanted to send numbers forward, get in the box, and leave as many as we needed back to manage their transition. How tough is it to just break down a team like that that is strictly looking for the, the counter and just sitting numbers back mm -hmm. in a low block and, and really cluttering those passing lanes for you? Well, super tough. I mean, we couldn't get one on him tonight, um, although we had some really incredible chances. I thought we did a great job of breaking them down even when they were in a low block. Um, we had some awesome chances that, you know, their goalkeeper had an incredible game, so I got to hand it to her. But um, it definitely poses some difficulties, but it's nothing that we haven't seen this season. I think we find ourselves in that situation often, um, at least we have this season. So we're used to it, and we're ready for that challenge. Four straight shutouts now for this team since coming back from the Summer Cup break. 11 of your 20 games have been shutouts, mm -hmm. which is almost double than the next best team. How do you put into perspective just how good this defense has been and, and for Anna tying the record for most clean sheets in a season in NWSL? I mean, the records just keep coming. Yeah. I think the stats speak for themselves. You know, I think oftentimes um, the defense are the unsung heroes, but we take a lot of pride in that. And like I said, the clean sheets speak for themselves. And at the end of the day, that's what's winning us games. And that's what's putting us at the top of the table. Yes, we're dangerous in the attack. And yes, we're putting goals on teams. But being number one in um, goals conceded, or fewest goals conceded, um, I think that's the difference for us. So got to hand it to the back line. Anything else for Carrie? Cool. Okay. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks, guys.